And again, on this one off to the side, no formula is given. We've got to go to the question beside, and they would have given you the formula. So the formula for atmospheric pressure is 1 point or 101.3, 0 0.88 to the H. So this formula would be given to you. And they would tell you what each thing stands for. So P is our atmospheric pressure measured in kilopascals. And H is our altitude, our height, in other words measured in kilometers. So the idea here is the higher you go, the less atmospheric pressure there is. This isn't exponential growth because our growth factor here, 0.88, is less than 1. So the higher you go, the less atmospheric pressure there is. So cabin pressure is, in an airplane, is less than 70 kilopascals that you can suffer from altitude sickness. At what altitude is the atmosphere pressure 70 kilopascals? So when we put things into this equation, we know that the pressure is 70 and again, right now, we have the only technique we have for solving for an exponent is if we can get our bases the same with our powers chart. But was 0.88 on our powers chart? No. So this would be a calculator question. Again, we're going to type one thing into y1, one thing into y2. And we're only going to do this right now in 5.3 because once we learn logarithms, the exam is going to expect you to know how to do it algebraically using logarithms. But for now, we're going to use our graphing calculator. Again, in y1, we're going to put in 70. And in y2, 101.3. Oops, did I totally write this down wrong? 101.3. That is the atmospheric pressure at sea level. Okay, 0.88 to the power of x. So now when I think about my window, my straight line is going to be at 70. So I don't need to go up to 3,000. Maybe I'll go up to 100. Oops. I'll just go up to 100 to see that 70. Right now, our x scale goes from negative 10 to 20. We're going to see, was that enough to see them intersect? Our red graph would cross at sea level at 101.3. Our graphs do intersect at this point. So we can go second, calculate. The intersection number five, curve one, enter, curve two, enter, guess, enter. 2.8, 2.9 kilometers above sea level. So when I was telling you that story about the airport being 3.8 kilometers above sea level, you can see why there's altitude sickness happening there. Because you can start to feel it already Did it say to the nearest kilometer? To the nearest kilometer, so the nearest kilometer would be 3. So at 3 kilometers, you might feel altitude sickness. So in each of your questions in your homework, like number 14, they may not give you the formula, or you'll have to, so you'll have to go back. Sometimes they do give you the formula in the question. But on all of your exam questions in this case, the formulas will be given.